Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Feed. I'm Juliette Beauchamp. The past few days have been full of big tech news, and today we're talking about the shocking end to Apple's legal battle with Qualcomm, Intel exiting a portion of the 5G market, and the war of streaming services. Stick around. In a surprise to many, Qualcomm and Apple have reached a settlement to the end of an ongoing lawsuit. And the settlement included a payment from Apple to Qualcomm. The two companies had been engaged in a global multi-billion dollar lawsuit over Qualcomm's licensing models. Basically, Apple argued Qualcomm wanted too much money, while Qualcomm argued it should be able to profit from its own products. The two companies also made a six-year licensing agreement. Of note here is that Qualcomm manufactures smartphone chips, among other things. And its high-speed chips for wireless devices will prove necessary as Apple transitions into 5G iPhones. But this agreement doesn't necessarily mean a 5G iPhone is on the horizon. The infrastructure needs to be in place before customers can enjoy 5G's promised high speeds and low latency. And shortly after news broke about the Apple Qualcomm settlement, Intel announced it would exit the 5G smartphone market. The company said it will continue to look into the opportunities for 5G modems in other devices, such as PCs and IoT devices. It will also invest in its 5G network infrastructure business, which is of course required for these 5G-enabled devices. These hyped-up phones and other wireless devices need a network to connect to. Originally, Intel had plans to release 5G modems for smartphones in 2020. However, the company's CEO said there is, quote, no clear path to profitability and positive returns for Intel's 5G smartphone modem business. And switching gears to streaming, let's talk Netflix. The streaming giant announced its first quarter revenue beat estimates, but it hinted at a potentially slower Q2. This comes as a number of new streaming services have been announced. Think Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus, and whatever Warner Media has up its sleeve. Nevertheless, in a letter to investors, the CEO of Netflix said he wasn't worried about those competitors. And in fairness, Netflix doesn't have that much to worry about right now. It's valued at $157 billion and is home to a number of popular original shows and movies. In fact, it's expected to invest $15 billion into content this year. And in an effort to offset this investment, Netflix has previously announced it will raise prices in Brazil, Mexico, and some European countries. Even if Netflix is king, do not expect other streaming services to stop vying for that title. For one, Hulu recently bought back AT&T's 9.5% minority stake in its company for $1.3 billion. That values Hulu at $15 billion. Be sure to keep an eye on these streaming wars. With more and more services rolling out soon, it's bound to get more and more competitive. Thanks for watching today's episode of Tech Feed. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And for more on these stories, check out the links below. Let me know in the comments how you feel about all this 5G news. Is it all talk? When do you want to see some truly 5G-enabled devices? See you next time.